William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. Oof. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. Damn straight. Be like, God damn it. I leave the country for like from one Norman, year. Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. Uh -oh. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. That's right. Let's, let's screw them up. The fall of Bayer. King Henry I descended on Bayer with the full force of his army, intent on taking what he believed was his. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayer, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Not very smart. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. See, this is clever. You know, double click to select your archers, palings. So the units are actually getting like little abilities. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. Uh -oh. What are they up to? Easy lads. Okay, he wants me to attack towards the enemy then. I think. I thought we were just going to keep letting them attack into the Palestines, but... How do you replace groups? You just record over them, that's how I replace them. Yeah. 
What do you mean, Flynn? Try to stay close. The English approached Bayer and saw that its towering stone walls. Oh, I thought you meant Todd like the Warcraft 3. Yeah, no, that Todd. Yeah, that's what I mean. I've seen his stuff. Yeah. Siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. That's why I was confused. Oh wow, look at that castle. Yeah, it's like the reforged ones. Where they redid like the actual thick walls and stuff like that. I need to capture the forest village. So which one's the forest village? The forest village must be over here, right? Yep. I lost my scout. He was scouting over here. Man, archers are really bad at destroying buildings. It's like trying to kill a mountain giant or something. Can I bring them into, like, melee range? Trying to get him in close. That doesn't make a difference. They don't have a hotkey to just move. Only attack move. You can right click obviously to just move, but there's no sort of like press button to move, so you're not clicking on something accidentally and attacking it. Keep going. We'll get that village. We'll build up an army. We we'll probably have to build siege vehicles, right, to destroy this base. They're just casually walking out of battle. Yeah. 
run, you fools. There we go. This place is mine now. Henry now calls for the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. Not much space to work with, though. Should get a scout ready. Let's see if I can spot anything. The hockeys change each time. So S was mining camp. Now it's uh, R. Depends what it lets you build. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayeux would not go unanswered. And now his force is braced for an attack by Robert's army. Hestis Commende. This is the calm before the storm. In before the computer just kills me right at the start. Okay. Henry repelled the attack, but he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Don't think you can do fishing. It's just going to be trees over there. What's the story you think the best in Age of Empires out of all? I don't know, it's hard to say, isn't it? <laughs> I'm liking the way they've done this though, a lot. I'd never played like the Total War games, but it feels like more like that kind of line. Like formations and what happened. Age of Empires 3 has got like a ridiculous amount of like campaign stuff though. I mean uh, Age of Empires 2. I never played Age of Empires 3 that much. So. Okay, we can harass those workers in a moment. What are these up to? Ah, looks like some gold. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. I don't know if it works, if it's technically facing the wrong way or not. Yeah, I'm going to lose that one. 
See, the problem is, if I lose that, I'm going to try to get the team back, hopefully. So I can replenish the fight. Maybe I scared her too much. I upset them. Okay, so... We've got the Arsenal building, that's over there. Build a town center actually. So we have barracks, archery, stables. as much as I can scout, I think. End of the line. I should build more mills, actually. Around these for that influence. Use infantry to construct rams. Oh my god, they're attacking. I was really hoping they would just leave me alone. I don't think I have an answer to this. This might be a restart. Just gonna run them around and hope that they get shot down by the arrows whilst I'm building up my army. I like how they move a lot faster than my body units do. Run! You're being literally chased by spearmen. Why are you just literally walking slower than my granddad or something, you know? Technically, I don't have a granddad anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, come on. Speed it up. Now's not the time to just casually go for a straw. Oh, look at that. Villagers fight back. I think that's calmed down. Return everything to work and then see the damage done with the idle villagers. Stick them on farms and then whatever's left can do whatever it can do. Hmm. Try and get a wall up or something. Donald Trump style. Yaru to work. I mean, I am healing. One of the longbowmen has the upgrade to do um, set up camp, and that regenerates health over time. Oh, I see the battering ram. Hey, Monaru, thank you very much there for the summary. Someone said Twitch Prime. They might have done. They're coming back again. Scary force. It's way stronger than what I've got. So I've got to 
put Get everything back in here and just kite them a little bit, basically. Or we'll just grab all the workers and just attack. We might be able to take them. And Marcus Aurelius, thank you very much for the stuff. Yeah, I was trying to build a wall, but then they really attacked me again. That's the hardest thing, is, is once you take workers off, right, it's so hard to know what they were doing before and, like, is everyone on their job. I feel like I could tell that easier with Age of Empires 2. To relocate people back onto, like, the place they're supposed to be. I do believe. Oh my god. There's no stone uh, gold left. I wouldn't mind like holding down the button to cut down the amount of workers. Cut them into half and then put another half over here. But you have to sort of go like that. Maybe revive your king. I don't know. He's, he's chilling. He's alright. Here they come again. They just won't stop. I mean, at least that's the activity of playing with the hard computer, as it keeps you busy. It does not give you much breathing space at all. Most often you have to sacrifice things, a bit like in 4 versus 4 R2. To sacrifice your position. So what do you put into the battle rounds? Infantry or can you put fit workers in? There we go. So we got our wall up. Feels good. So you just got to build a whole bunch of infantry units. With the power of battering rams, the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. I was going to say, it's quite early in the campaign to get um, actual siege units. I mean, like, trebuchets and stuff, I think. Didn't want those. Do it. Get to the ready for Hester. Yes, sir. Word is that the look of your Yarway Yawana. Yaru has so to read a new books. Yes, sir. For it, they know. No, Tulkas. Set up yard. Get the battering rams in the way. Yeah! 
I think, uh, yeah, if you get three of them filled with units, that might be enough to get the job done. If that's what's suggested. Could get a bunch of archers. Is there a hole next to the gate? I mean, there shouldn't be. The, the gates in this are a bit tricky, to be honest. Like, properly closing them off. They never seem to want to properly do it. Pretty straightforward now. It is shocking, like, you really will have to spam production facilities. Hey there, Oliver. You're gonna have to spam them in order to actually get, like, the units, because it takes probably, I don't know, that's gotta be like 20 to 30 seconds per unit. Maybe a bit less, but it certainly feels like a long time. Be worth getting at least another couple of battering rounds if I can, just in case. Almost at the food camp. Is that pig? Don't think you can speed build the battery in rounds. I think we're almost ready. I guess we'll kill these guys. Right. Get in there. Just for the giggles, I'm just going to put this one over here or something. And then these guys come over here. This is so I can get control of the gr of the tower. Somewhat. I don't know how to do this thing, though. 
How do I actually unload? Okay. Let's see if those boys can win that fight at the top. Are we breaching the walls or what are we doing? I think we're trying. Success. Bayer's walls had failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. Yeah, easier said than done. Robert Harrison made a last stand to defend Bayer, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. I mean, in all honesty, they're stronger than I am, so <laughs> I don't know what chance it's down. Which one have I got to destroy? Is it the Notre Dame, the Wonder? Defeat the buildings and the defenders. Don't know where my king is. Maybe he's still inside the battle room. Keep going, lads. They have so many forces, man. How are you supposed to... Like, seriously, how are you supposed to overwhelm this? I don't have, like, decent enough units yet to, like, outplay the AI. I've got to keep fighting them. Look at the bottom left corner. What, on the mini map? That's over here. What about it? you got to specifically tell me what's at the bottom left corner rather than just vaguely look at the bottom left corner. Maybe that's the best bet, is just to get so many siege battering rams and just destroy all the buildings and ignore the units. Well, I know the king's injured, yeah. But he's always going to be injured. Because there's like six billion units that the computers have. So I'm never going to win in a straight-up fight against the computer. I've got to try to keep playing around it. But it's bloody expensive. Don't have any more gold after this. Where are they going? Is there a, is there a gap they can get for repair? It's not easy beating the computer. There's only so many buildings though. So if I just, like I say, I get like probably about 50. Not maybe that many, but you know what I mean. Just a stupid amount. We need lumber though. Yeah, 
I have to just kill the defenders as well. Oh, yeah. But it'll be easier to kill the defenders once I got rid of all the buildings, won't it? Because the thing is, is they just build units faster than I ever can. <laughs> At least they certainly seem to. I got 12 battering rams already. Get closer towards 20 or something and we might be talking. I can't do any more upgrades. I mean, my production buildings are pretty close. They're right at the wall here, you know? I don't have a lumber. And it's risky to build them over here because if I lose, then they'll just come and destroy everything. At least this is behind the wall. Speaking of which, I might get like a second. You can see the um, amount oh, I've got to kill there. Yeah, you could distract with a bunch of units. You could have a few battering rams just for distracting the armies and then send the rest in. Resin. I don't want to aggro them there. <laughs> One more ram for luck. Population. Oh, rams take up population. Huh. Okay. Well, we've got 18 rams. That's a pretty good number. I don't know if having, like, um, well, actually, one way to test it is if you have, like, zero, one, and then have a ram that's got four. Stick everyone in that ram. That's eight. That did full damage. That did 200 damage, yeah. Now you get the one that's got 16 people in it and make it a tank. And see, that does exactly the same damage. Yeah, exactly the same damage. Okay, so there's no difference. I can't zoom out anymore, no. Heck, I don't even need the guys inside the rams. I can just have the rams going around destroying everything. And then my units sort of distract them a little bit. Alright, send the rams in. <laughs> Try to kill those rams, baby. Get to work. Let's break down these walls so we've got more of a gap to get them through. You, know, you can do it. So. 
He's injured again. He's immediately injured as soon as he comes out. Right. That's a better gap, isn't it? Bow selector. Build our barracks citadel now. It's looking better. Oh yes, I did block the second wall. You're not wrong. Um, because I needed to get the finger jig, which it wouldn't let me build at the time. Because you can't build it when the wall's in progress. You can only build it once it's been built. The gate. That's group. Let's just kite them for a bit. Actually, now I think we can flank into them a bit. That's... The rams are basically met the rams. We've got one ram left, so I'll just make it run around at the top. I think I'm starting to get overwhelmed again, to be honest. Don't know whether it's better to just back off and recover what I can. That is a lot of years. Stay alive. Oh, get back. I want you all fuck. Send the boys in. Almost got all the buildings. I'm gonna get back behind the walls. Maybe they'll retreat. That distracts him. Hey, sir. I think he's specific about which buildings it wants to destroy. It's all this farmer talk. Need a hotkey ready for these battering rams. I don't know, is it done? I guess it's done, yeah. Destroyed enough. So I've just got to destroy enough units then, basically. Need one good fight. Bunch of archers would be good, actually. It's going to take a long time to get archers in. 
Bridge. Look at your VAT ready, Frick. It's limited here at Yes, sir. Garwigan. Police staff, Allah. On our end. On your work, huh? Garway. Garway. Garwigan. Yes, sir. It shall be timbered, please. Strail for it, Yard. It's a young kid. Get to the ring. Yes, sir. Bayo death, me. What has day? It is Sita. Today is number day. We take it on. Yeah, I'll stop the rounds then. Yeah, quill him. are getting uh, battered. That one spearman's like, I can take him. They don't like that. All right. Let's go. Charge. I can get reinforcements from here as well. <laughs> All these buildings. You can't like rally the flag to attack move or something like that either. So your units are going to kind of walk out, aren't they, to this position and then get killed. The counter to archers is horses, really. But I think I can just counter them anyway. We're just like mass. I've got enough resources, so I'll just keep throwing stuff at them. They don't go down easy, eh? Such a ridiculous number, though. Like, I've got each barracks is building like about six workers. I mean, six <laughs> units each. It just feels like it takes forever to get units out. That's okay. Just wanted to die in a position that's easy to resin, and then he comes back, and you just buff again. Oh right, that does actually keep the same cooldown as when he was up. I thought you might be able to abuse it to sort of keep letting him die and then get a new buff.
It's only 10 lumber for the horsemen. But it does still cost some lumber. These levels are brutal. Definitely doable though, at least at the moment. Guess you never have to worry about farms anymore. There's still a shit ton of units left. Go on. No, I think the food cap is 180. Cheat or no cheat, the AI is going down now. The end is nigh. It's quite cool having like a, a bar for the amount of units you've got to kill, sort of thing, rather than just kill all of them. All or nothing kind of thing. No chance with that many horses. As Bayer burned and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. Basked in it. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. There you go, lads. So, the fall of Bayo. Bayo fell to ash at King Henry's hands. For those still loyal to his brother, a terrifying example had been set. So, a couple of videos. Hmm. By 1100, the medieval knight was dressed from head to toe in mail. is really like a metal fabric. It moves and behaves like a cloth, but is actually made of hundreds and thousands of interlocking iron rings. It could turn and deflect a sword blade. As an armor, mail didn't work all by itself. It needed the addition of a padded coat. The coat absorbed the shock of the blow, whilst the mail turned away the cut. That's so fucking Together, clever. they formed an incredibly effective protection. The first stage in making mail was to create wire to the right thickness. It is heavy. I have actually lifted up a to do this, mail helmet before. To do this, it was pulled before. through a drawing plate, which had a Can't series of which castle I went holes. to, but they had some props inside. Until you got wire of the desired gauge. 
To make the rings, we wind the wire onto a mandrel. And then we take it off the mandrel and cut the rings. So I've flattened the overlapping ends of the ring and I've pierced a hole through it. And now Nick has to put a rivet in it. The basic construction of mail would be a ratio of four to one. So each ring goes through four of its fellows. Here you can see I've made a set of five, which will then be joined to other sets of five to create a sheet of mail. Mail had to be tailored to a perfect fit. It had to be shaped for feet and legs, arms and hands, and of course the head. A skilled mail maker could make very precise shapes. Of course, for more complicated parts of the body, like elbows, we can actually tailor it in two different directions at the same time. Yeah, so if we fold this in half, we have an elbow. I mean, in all fairness, it takes a long time, the but they didn't have much else better to do, did they, back in those days? A knight didn't have to carry a single ring of extra weight that he didn't need to. The mail to cover a knight from head to toe required about 200,000 rings. High status knights would have had their mail edged with gold, but most importantly, it had to be functional. Clad in mail with his shield and helmet, the knight was well equipped to face the weapons of the day.